Hey YouTube, Bird Billy here. Hey, I had a um, subscriber ask me a question about how to test the switch. I'm going to do a quick video here to do it. This will be a quick in and out one. Uh, okay, so basically when you need to check a switch to see if the switch is working properly, you go to continuity on your meter and it'll always look like that. Kind of coming right on it. So you turn your meter to continuity. This is just a basic, and I'm doing this intentionally because most people probably just have basic meters laying around. This is the most basic one I have. This is uh, the freebie one from Harbor Freight. Um, I'm going to have a review of this on my site as well if you're curious about it. Um, so here's a normal single pole switch. Just turns it on and off. So as you can see on our meter, right here we're showing an open. When I touch together, it'll zero out. So basically it's coming down to show continuities there. It's not quite... That's as good as about what you're going to get on this. Now... Um, all meters are pretty much will do that. Some will have a beep to go along with it to let you know that. Some won't. Um, this one obviously doesn't. This is just a basic, which again is why I'm using it. So we're going to put our uh, leads across the, the like this on the switch. Now, when you're doing this, you want nothing else connected to it because that'll throw you off for one and two. I just, you know, there's always a danger you having power going to something. So make sure your power's off, your leads are disconnected, and you just got the raw switch like this. You touch across like this, and you can see how it's zeroing out. When I switch the switch to off, it opens up. Switch it back on again, it closes. So that tells us right now, this switch is a working switch. This is a good switch. It's actually just one somebody I had on a job, they wanted to change the colors out, so went to something new. This is a three-way. What you have on a three-way switch is you'll have um, your two leads in, they call it what they call a traveler. In between, and I, I don't, I'm not going to get into all that right now. We'll do a video on three ways another day. But basically, just so you can see, even on a three way, because a three way is going to break back and forth between the connectors. So, um, and just for you that aren't, for those of you that aren't um, familiar with a three way, what it is is a three way is like what you would have at the bottom of your stairs and the top of your stairs, where that uh, two different switches control one light. So when you flip one off, it goes on. You go upstairs, you flip the one upstairs, and it goes off again. That those are a three way switch. So if I come across on my three-way, sorry guys, we'll see right there, I've got continuity. And then if I go ahead and I close it, it goes open. So this switch is actually working, and you can test between all your leads if you want to, to see what's connected to what. And this is a way you do, can do troubleshooting if you're trying to figure out if something is open or closed. So I come down here and see how this one here is now closed and if I flip it again it goes back to open but if I came over here now this circuit is closed that's how a three-way works it's basically toggling back and forth between them so alright well I hope this helps this was just a quick tutorial on how to troubleshoot a switch to see if a switch is working or not and to show you a little bit on how to use the continuity setting on your meter hey guys hope this helps you take care